Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the X-Plane Map Enhancement plugin, uh, which is currently in open beta for X-Plane. Now what this is basically an alternative to Auto Ortho. Um, it essentially streams ortho uh, satellite imagery directly into X-Plane. Uh, the method in which it does it is different to Auto Ortho. Uh, and the installation, I'm glad to say, is much easier. Uh, but here I am making an install tutorial on it anyway to hopefully help you guys. So we're going to get right into it. And essentially, there's initially three things you're going to need to download. And I'll put the links to all of these in the description. So first of all, you want to go to the Explain Map Enhancement uh, release. So the link will send you to this page. And what you want to do is click on this plus seven releases or however many there are. Go to the latest, so right now that's 0.9.1 and click on the EXE here to download it just like that. Now I already have it downloaded and you can download it wherever you want. Actually I might as well go over. Um, I've made a folder here called Map Tool and as you can see I've got all the stuff here. Now obviously you're not going to have these folders here and um, we'll be making those in just a second. Um, but when you download the enhancement setup and the other files, I recommend you download it to another folder and we'll go through why in just a second. So maybe make a folder called map tool or whatever you want and download all of that stuff to there. Next, you need to download some of these base packages. Now, yes, there is a lot. Um, it took me about an hour to download all these, but essentially, um, we're just going to be downloading South America today. And as you can see, I do have them pre-downloaded, but to download these, you just want to go to whichever region you want. Um, so as you can see here, we have South America and you have one, two, three, four files in this case, and an EXE. You want to download all four files and the EXE as well. Um, and yeah, you might need to do these for all of them. Now, when I did mine, some downloads didn't fully download and it sort of said .004 part file and the seven zip uh, didn't work so just make sure that you are downloading the file completely if it doesn't work the first time just you know try again finally we want to download winfsp here and all you do is click download winfsp installer and it'll put that into the map tool folder then we can go here now obviously you're not going to have these folders here you're just going to have these down here so the first thing you want to do is run winfsp now i already have it so um it's going to come up with a slightly different screen but you just want to go through the installation process very very simple just click next 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 um and get that installed then you want to install the actually map enhancement setup again very easy just go through the install process just click next 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 um and go ahead and get that installed so we don't actually need those anymore and then you're going to want to have your base packages here. So here we're just doing South America for now. And all you want to do to extract these so you get an actual folder like this. Because in the end, you should have a folder structure like this. Um, and you need the Z underscore AO underscore SA, South America. It's an application, 7-zip, and you just want to run it. So if I delete South America here... All right, so now we no longer have SA. Obviously, you guys won't need to delete that, but just for the purpose of this video. Um, and then essentially click this application to extract all of these. Don't try and do it using this, it won't work. So run this, just click extract, and it'll go through and extract it, and you'll see the SA folder. So we'll let that go ahead and do that. All right, so now that has been completed, uh, we don't need these files anymore. We can delete that. And as you can see, we now have our beautiful South America base package here. So essentially, um, you might not need all of these. If you're just installing North America or Europe, you won't have all of these. But if you decide you want to install the whole world, then this is what you'll have here, including this auto 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 overlays, which you need to make sure you download from here as well. So there's an overlays exe. Now you will always need that. So. Next, what you want to do is create a new folder called cache, and this will essentially be your uh, cache folder. You do need to create this, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open the map enhancement uh, tool. All right, so here we are in the map enhancement tool. And now there's just a couple of things that we need to set up here. So if you go here to the cog icon here, which is the settings, you go to scenery options um, and you need to choose this folder here. This needs to be to your root X plane 12 folder. So you click choose and then I would go to my X plane 12 folder. So I'll just go to my C drive X plane 12 and just leave it there. Click select folder. Next, you need to select where your base packages are. So where we just um, just downloaded those base packages. So again, you want to go to wherever those were. So mine were in downloads, map tool, and just there, as you can see, and just click select. Perfect. And that's all we need to do for now. Then we do need to go to cache and select that cache folder. So choose cache directory select the cache folder you just created and click select and you can set your limit here now there is a bunch of settings um some people think you still need to do this license you don't need to do that there's a change log here um this you know color settings which is really cool and yeah there's a bunch of options you don't really need to mess with too much of these this is something you could adjust so you know you can choose your quality um, which of course will impact load times and stuff like that fast load all of this stuff I'll go over this in another dedicated video um, a showcase but yeah that's essentially the install done now to actually use it all you want to do is select whichever server so I'll do Bing Maps and you can actually make it so when you click start here it also starts explain so I'm going to go ahead and click start right now and then if you if it doesn't already start, start X-Plane as well. All right, so now we are in X-Plane. All you want to do is go to your custom scenery folder. So if we go back here, go to custom scenery folder, which is in your X-Plane root folder, custom scenery. And then you want to open up your .ini file, which is here. And you'll just want to make sure now for me, it did it automatically. I'm not sure if it'll do it automatically for everyone, but essentially what you want is to set these here so your auto ortho overlays and your base packages you need to set them right at the bottom of your thing if you have any mesh the mesh should actually be underneath so i'm going to do that now set your mesh underneath if you do have any custom mesh but otherwise yeah this is the structure you want for me did it automatically like i said for you guys it might not make sure overlays is at the top of this section and then you can click file save uh reload explain if you have to and yeah now what we're going to do is just load into anywhere you want so we're going to load into uh paris factory and yeah it will take a long time to load first time this is a uh sort of a bit of an issue right now the load times are quite long initially you have the fast load option of course um if you don't have this that selected the load times are quite long so do be patient with it initially um, once it starts to cache images, then it should return to normal. And remember, this is open beta, so it's still being improved and it's not, um, you know, this is not the final release. So let's go ahead and start flying. Alrighty then, here we are in X-Plane. And as you can see, now none of this ortho, other than this tiny little bit uh, where the airport is, uh, this is Boundless Paris Factory. But all this all the ortho is from the map enhancement plugin and look at it, doesn't it look good? This is Bing, and yeah, looks quite nice. Um, as you can see, uh, you can kind of see some squares over here where the imagery has changed, but you can actually change the imagery whilst you're in the sim as well, which is really nice. But I'll cover all of this in a dedicated video, but that's just how to install the scenery. And as you can see there, it's all working just as you would expect. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. If you do have any issues, please do let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments or preferably uh, join my Discord and I have a dedicated help section there. So do go ahead, join there. Either way, more than happy to help if you do get issues. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.